Hello and welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be looking at a Meat Canyon video. This one is about Jojo Siwa. Now I have never really been a huge fan of Jojo Siwa. I don't know much about her life in general, um, except for what I've seen in the like 80 video essays that I have watched about her. Um, I know she was on Dance Moms, which I never watched. I know that she's had a lot of um, scandals, um, most of which are uh, her being friends with some incredibly problematic people. Um, and now she's doing this whole rebrand thing where she's trying to go from like sparkles and bells and oh my gosh I'm a pop princess to like edgy or something but like she just looks like a full like a sparkly Gene Simmons and it's like you didn't really actually go that extra step the point being I've seen lots of parody videos <laughs> about Jojo Siwa's karma um and most of them are better than what I've seen of the music video itself um also I know that there was like a whole thing of you know, it was supposed to be Brit Smith's song, but then it didn't get released and JoJo bought it. It was a whole, it's, it's drama that doesn't need to be drama, honestly. Um, but I'm very curious to see what Meat Canyon is going to make of it because, <laughs> again, I haven't seen much of Meat Canyon, but I am expecting it's something apocalyptic and off-putting. So if I don't get that, I don't know, I might be disappointed. <laughs> um, but I can... Uh, basically guess that the blood the little bow tie the bow bow over here is jojo sitting with her back to us let's see what meat canyon has to say all right everyone we do have a fully grown jojo siwa today and we do have a few rules before we bring her out okay if jojo touches you or crawls in your lap that's totally fine but please do not touch her also, there is no feeding Jojo Siwa, and especially no flash photography. Oh my, I do love that it's like a, <laughs> like a zookeeper. Like <laughs> She's had an exhibit. All right. Which is also kind of sad because this girl has been in the public eye for her entire childhood. I guess that would kind of turn you a little feral. Now, without further ado, here's Jojo Siwa. Hey everyone, thanks for coming out to my show. This is a 20-year-old Jojo Siwa, isn't that right? She loves to sing and dance and just be herself. Horrifying. All right, Jojo. Would you like to dance for us? Huh? Uh, big girl, you want to dance? All right, go ahead. Okay, everyone. Let's, let's not overstimulate her, all right? Oh, now, my Jojo, God. Would you like to sing for everyone? Come as a bitch! I should have known better if I had a wish you would never mess around. I saw a bitch and you and I started on twins. Come as a bitch. I need to fight you. Oh, wow. Good, good job. Jojo. Oh, who's a good girl? Who it was almost enunciated. Just so close. Who's a good girl? Now, Jojo's going to go around the room and choose who she wants to take a selfie with. Go on, Jojo. Oh my god, she's walking right by me. Jo Jojo, Jojo, choose me. I, I want a selfie, Jojo, please. <gasps> Look, sweetie, she's staring right at you. Look. Okay, see, I thought that was going to be Jojo. She's the next Jojo. This is how, this is how Jojo is created. Uh, you find a little girl with a cute pink bow, and she becomes this. I said no flash photography! Oh my god. It's it's because in the song in the music video she basically does this to the girl in the uh in the in the lake huh or the sea the ocean the water some kind of water with waves just absolutely just like slamming herself on top of her and it it is very funny because it's like it doesn't look sexy it looks like she's just getting slapped around. Bitch! I should have known better. 
If I had a wish, I would have been a better man. They turned her into like a chimp thing. Oh my god. Oh wow. All right. We turn this into a uh, true monstrosity. Which is what I expected and hoped for. <laughs> and like just the layer of the actual like clips or like the actual stills from the music video. I I wanted something horrible. I did get it. We're here today with Megan Peterson, the survivor of the Jojo Siwa attack. Megan, how does it feel knowing that Jojo Siwa is in captivity and being shown to the public even after your attack? I feel angry, but I feel sorry for Jojo. In a way, she didn't know any better, and we antagonized her while she was at her most vulnerable. And now she's trapped for just doing what she was told. It's surprisingly insightful. So again, surprisingly insightful there at the end from me, Canyon. Because she kind of, you know, I because I can see where that is too. Like we, she was created. You know, Shoujo might be, have become somewhat of a monster. Um, and it really does sound like some of the stuff that she, like, that has come out recently about, like, some of the things that she's put, like, the girls and her little girl group she created through, like, she became the dance mom, you know? Like, it really is awful, some of the stuff that she's done. Um, but we, you know, she was created. She was created and taught how to do that and never taught, she was not taught better. And she's the one getting most of the blame for her behavior now, which should happen. She should be getting some blame for her behavior, but I blame her mom. <laughs> like, any adult in her life from, like, the time she was, like, six, it's, like, they they need to take some, uh, some credit also for how JoJo has come out. So, um, again, I, I was, like I said, I was expecting some, uh, uh, something horrible and off-putting. I received that. And I got also an insightful end, which I liked. I appreciated that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.